this is Sandra Lastovic with the Mortgage Center in beautiful downtown Guelph. Another Mortgage Monday, and our theme for January is how to get your financial house in order. Uh, today's topic is accessing the equity in your home for savings or buying real estate. So this isn't for everybody. Um, this would be a great video for you to listen if you um, have done an excellent job at paying down your mortgage and you're not carrying a lot of outside debt, uh, which I mean like credit card or line of credit debt. So you've been extremely diligent. Um, so now is a great opportunity for you to leverage or access some of the equity in your house. And what I find is that client, it's not for everybody, but if you've got that equity, you can make it work for yourself. And normally what I find is, well, if you're investing the equity in your house into non-RSPs or real estate, um, you can actually write the interest uh, off on your mortgage as a tax deduction. Um, if you're taking the equity and putting into stocks, bonds, and mutual funds uh, that are non-RSPs, obviously you want to get advice from a financial planner and we can connect you with some amazing people. If you are using that equity to buy other real estate like cottages, rental properties, secondary homes, homes for your parents or your kids, um, then this is one of our favorite things at the Mortgage Center and we'd love to show you how to do that. Um, be wary of companies that will charge you thousands of dollars. I've seen seminars here um, where they'll charge you five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars just to show you how to invest in real estate. It's not that difficult. All you need to do is make sure you connect yourself with a good mortgage professional and a good realtor. Um, at the Mortgage Center, we have helped hundreds of people with real estate investing. We'll show you simple how to do a simple cash flow analysis. We'll set the loan, mortgage or the line of credit on your primary residence up correctly. We'll also make sure that the mortgage that you get on your rental property or your secondary home is cash flow positive. Um, the other thing that we can do is we can share with you some of the tips that we have on screening clients and any of the tools and resources that we have. So the most important thing is making sure that that investment, when you're leveraging the equity in your house, is actually cash flow positive. So if this is something that you're interested in doing or just kind of picking my brains, I'd be happy to uh, chat with you. Uh, you can check us out at skipthebank.ca. This is Sandra and I'm signing off for another Mortgage Monday.